Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. Today I'm going to be talking about sun printing with Solar Fast and I'm so excited for this project. So the first thing you're going to need is some dried flowers or some dried leaves. I actually dried my own flowers back in the summer and I just put them in the pages of this book and I left them to dry for about a week. You can also buy flowers and dry them or just make sure you use something that is flat. All right, so the next thing I'm using for this project is Solar Fast and Solar Fast Wash. I'm going to be using the teal Solar Fast, but it comes in blue, purple, brown, black, all different kinds of colors. So go and check it out and let me know if you use another color, how it turns out. The Solar Fast Wash is so that the dye doesn't come out when you're washing it and re-dye the white parts or the resist of your fabric. You can use this on fabric and on paper. Since my channel is about textiles, I'm going to be using it on textiles, aka 100% cotton, and I am going to put the link for this stuff down in the description box below. Here's what the dried flowers look like after they've been completely dried and they are flat. So that's going to help give a really good sun print onto the fabric. The fact that they're flat will make a really big difference. The next thing I'm going to be using is a picture frame. I got this picture frame at a thrift store. I actually thrifted this frame in the vlog of what happens to textile waste and I will link that down in the description below and at the end. So I removed the backing and now I'm going to take off the wire on the back. And then this piece of cardboard was inside the frame. So I'm going to spread out my t-shirt this is 100 percent cotton and i'm going to add some cardboard to stabilize it i tried to do this before without using the cardboard and it was sort of a fail i'll show you at the end of this video what i'm talking about i'll show you the results of before and after with and without the cardboard but i think it is definitely worth it to use the cardboard to just kind of flatten it out and then I'm going to take a trash bag or a piece of plastic and put it behind it so that the Solar Fast does not get onto the back of the t-shirt. I only want it on the top. So now it's time to add the Solar Fast to my t-shirt and I'm going to be using this brayer. I'm also using a piece of plexiglass as kind of like a palette. I can't tell you uh, that there's an exact way to do this. As you can see, I'm just kind of getting it all on the shirt. And then I'm using a paintbrush to kind of give this circular shape some rough edges. I'm coming over it again with the briar to make sure that it's all really evenly spread out. And then I'm going to work on the edges once again until it's all onto the t-shirt. So once it's all spread out, it's time to add the flowers. This stuff is light sensitive, but you can do this project with the lights on inside. So I'm just coming in and arranging the flowers in a nice way. I wanted to alternate between the daisies and the dandelions to give it some visual interest. And I wanted to have a lot of the flowers, but also to feature the stems and have some breathing room. I feel like this wildflower look is really trending right now. And once I get the layout right, it's time to clamp it. All right, I know my workstation looks a little crazy, but this is what I have got. I put a lot of clamps around the whole thing. And these clamps are what I use for indigo. So they do have indigo residue on them. And I just use the plastic to make sure that I'm not getting the indigo residue on my shirt. Okay, so now it's time to take it outside. At first, I put it on the ground flat, but I noticed that the shadows being cast by the flowers were really far off because it's winter and also the afternoon. So then I decided to put it up against the wall facing the sun at an angle which really helped to keep 
the shadows directly behind the flowers. It only took about 10 minutes for the color to change. Here it is after 10 minutes, and then I actually left it for another 10 minutes just to see if it would change anymore. But it didn't really change anymore, so I decided to take it in and to take the clamps off. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out my channel for more tutorials on dyeing and sewing and all things textiles. I was really excited to see how it turned out. I've been waiting to do this project for a really long time. I've just been <laughs> keeping these flowers on my bookshelf and so excited to try it. So once I got the frame off, I started to take the flowers off and I got a really good print. Here it is up close. You can see there is um, yellow in the flower prints, which will wash off. So then I took it over to my sink and I started to wash it with hot, hot water. And I used the Solar Fast concentrated wash to get the excess Solar Fast out. I hand washed it first and then I washed it in the washer and dryer on hot with more of the solar fast wash. So here it is. It's been washed and dried twice and I really like the resist that I got. I think it looks really nice and I kind of like that it has a, a little bit of a yellowish tint um, this is teal, but I'd say it kind of looks a bit more olive. So I, I think that this one looks really nice. I'm happy with the results. And as promised, this is the fail that I tried first. And you can see it still has some of that flower, but there's more stripes in it because it wasn't pulled tight. So here is the fail on the left, and then here is the second version on the right. So you can see the difference, and it's definitely worth it to take your time and set up this print um, for success. So there you have it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the results, and if you've ever tried sun printing, how did it go for you? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go and follow me on my social medias at onyxartstudios.com and check out my online dyeing classes on my website. If you enjoyed this video, here are some other videos from my channel that you might also enjoy. Be sure to check out my other videos for more inspiration. All right, I'll see you guys next time and be sure to subscribe for a new video every Thursday. Bye.